Hey, what's up guys? How we doing? Um, so in the past, we've talked a little bit about this subject, but I wanted to go over it again today because I was watching um, Clubhouse Confidential and they had a little piece on it. So um, a few years ago, I got a chance to talk to Rod Carew and he talked about all the notes that he took on players and how he knew pitchers tendencies because he studied them he wrote them down and before the game he'd go and he'd check his notes and he'd know what pitches he'd see in certain counts and stuff like that so um i want to show you a quick clip it's on frank catalanato he played 14 years in the big league with a bunch of different teams really successful player obviously um and he talks a little bit about the notes that he kept over his career so i wanted to let you guys see this and then we'll talk a little bit about it afterwards Okay, so there's Frank Calonado talking a little bit. I cut it off there because it goes on for a little while. Um, but a couple of important things that I think uh, for you guys to know. First off, I think people would be really surprised at the amount of uh, how much this goes on at a high level of baseball. You know, Major League Baseball players. A lot of people, they I don't think they realize that Major League Baseball players are doing this. I think a lot of people just think that they're really good players and they just go out there and they show up for the game and they play when that's actually not the case at all. There's more of this going on at that level than probably any other level. So here's a guy at 14 years, and he's got a notebook that he kept his entire career, and he still has it. And you saw those notes just on one pitcher, Mike Mussina. Think about how many pitchers he faced during his career, and he's got a full sheet on just one guy. So, um, you know, important things for you guys to keep in mind is this isn't just something that you can do if you're a hitter, um, but you can do it if you're a pitcher. You can do it if you're a base runner. Um, you know, hitting, obviously you can do a lot of the things that, that Frank talked about in here. If there's a tip, um, if you have, if you think, you know, from the way a pitcher does something, what pitch is going to come, you can write that down, but you, mostly it's about writing down, you know, how a pitcher attacks you. Um, you know, does he, does he fall into a pattern of, of coming in hard late or, um, does he like to stay away or does he throw, you know, does he have an out pitch? What's his out pitch? Um, whatever you can have so that when you face him again, um, you don't have to waste the first at bat or the first two at bats figuring out what this guy has. You already have that. It's like having free at bats. Um, and if you, one mistake players make is they think they can just remember. Oh, I'll remember when I face him. Well, you might not face a guy. Maybe a, it won't be till a year later. And you're gonna have faced a lot of pitchers um, since that time. So write it down because it's so much easier to remember things when you can just look back quick and glance over your notes. Um, if you're a pitcher, you can do the same exact thing. You can you can write down what um, what a, a, the opposing hitter's strengths are, what his weaknesses are, how did you get him out, how did you attack him, um, were you successful or unsuccessful, um, and it's also a good way to make sure that you're not doing the same thing over and over again. If you start a guy out a certain way, well then you can switch it up next time, or maybe you, if you thought you had success, you can go back to it. So it's just a way to understand what's going on um, and to help you attack that guy. Um, and as a base runner, it's really important too. I've I've seen a lot of guys that have really great notes on on opposing pitchers. Um, you know, understanding um, what type of move he has. If you're on first base, does he use a slide step? Um, is he a faster slow guy over? Does he have a great move? Does he have a balk move? Um, if he's a left-hander, does he have a quick step-off move? Um, you know, is he a read guy? There's there's so many things you can write down when you're on when you're running at second base. You know, is he a one look guy or a two look guy? Does he fall into patterns? Um, does he use an inside move or does he never use an inside move? Uh, so these are all things that you can write down that give you a huge advantage, um, especially as you get older um, and you start playing guys over and over again. You know, if you're in high school, you might see the same guy a couple times during a season and maybe see him in the in the playoffs. Um, if you're in college. 
you know, you're going to face a, a lot of times you're going to face the same team over and over again. You're going to do it for four years while you're in college. And then obviously when you get the professional baseball, you start facing guys a lot. And that's when notes really come in handy. Um, but just keep this in mind. Just something, you know, some of you guys might know about this. Some of you guys might not have, never have heard of keeping notes on guys, keeping a little a hitter's journal or a pitcher's journal. I mean, I think it can really help you guys out. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I hope it helps. Like the video, um, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, comment in the section below, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.